Have you ever had the experience of wanting to buy something, but the salesperson alienated you so much that you did not buy from that person? Understanding how not to alienate is significant in reducing stress. You may have had the same experience that many others have had, including me. In one of my many seminars, I ask, if you wanted to purchase something, but the salesperson alienated you so much that you decided not to purchase the item even though you wanted it, please raise your hand. Almost everyone raises a hand. Every successful salesperson knows not to alienate the customer. But too often, we talk to people in ways that prompt negative feelings, which alienate and often promote stress. Negative feelings stop any desire to do what you would like the other person to do. People do good when they feel good, not when they feel bad or when they feel coerced. Telling people what to do alienates them. We like telling other people what to do, but no one likes to be told what to do. You can prove this to yourself by responding to the following question. Do you like to be told what to do? In addition, telling alienates and is ineffective. The reason is that there is an inference that the person is incapable of handling the situation without your help. Finish the following question by proving this to yourself. If I have told you once, I have told you 10 times, 100 times. You see, if telling worked, you would not have to repeat yourself and people would do exactly what you tell them to do. Since alienating promotes negative feelings, the question arises, how can you avoid it? And the answer is to re reflect on how the other person will feel after listening to you. Some parents and many teachers often alienate those in their custody. The word education comes from the Latin educare, to draw out. This means that we adults should be encouraging, enabling, and assisting young people. Instead, too often we alienate and prompt poor relationships and stress. The approach of how not to alienate is to be positive. The manager in a store that sold various kinds of nuts asked one of the salespeople the reason that she sold more than others. Her reply, I simply start with few nuts and keep adding more, while I see others start with too many nuts and keep taking more off. When you focus on thinking, communicating, and behaving in ways that prompt positive and good feelings in others, alienation and negative feelings are totally bypassed. So here's the tip. Whether you are speaking to someone you care about or someone you just met, demonstrate emotional intelligence by not alienating the person. Rather than telling, share, and ask questions. As Howard Schultz of Starbucks fame says, if you treat people that they have what it takes to succeed, they'll prove you right. Mm -hmm.